right, everybody, this is Dashy Vink coming at you with another day of DoorDash, Instacart, and Spark. We are continuing Monday, March 4th, <laughs> and it is the afternoon or lunch shift. We're going to go ahead and keep going. I will continue to put the numbers up in the corners for our total number of orders that we've done and completed and our total dollar amount. We didn't do too bad in the morning. Um, I mean, it wasn't great as far as an hourly wage, but we stayed fairly busy. I was in the mall parking lot once, our favorite place to park. And then I sat down in the Duncan parking lot once, and that was just for a very, very short period of time both times so now we're going to continue this day thank you guys for riding along with me i hope you enjoy the content let's get started hey everyone um so i stopped at the w2 i filled up my coffee cup we went to the restroom and i just got back into the south end of town i'm actually parked in a different parking lot it's right over here is Duncan. Um, <clears throat> I just received an or, or an offer. It was for like seven dollars and ninety eight cents, but it was to go ten point three miles. It was to shop four items at Target, and then come all the way back, clear over to the east side of Lake Bemidji. And it was restricted. Customer has to be eighteen. Show me ID. There's just not enough money there to go through all that. So. I declined that one and we're just waiting for lunch to get going here. It's um, not quite 10.30, it's, I'm sorry, it's 10.34, so lunch should be getting going here pretty sh pretty soon, 10-15 uh, minutes, and hopefully we have a decent lunch outing, so I put myself on the docket until like 1.30 this afternoon, so hopefully we can get some good lunch orders and finish out the day strong just received another offer it was for six dollars and 98 cents but it was to go 8.4 miles and again clear to the east side of the lake from mcdonald's and there's nothing on the way back so i don't like to take those eastern orders unless they're worthwhile so i declined that one too we're still waiting all right, we finally got an offer that we are going to take. <laughs> it's not a great offer, but at least it's not upside down. It's $5 to go three miles, and it's from Duncan. I left the parking lot where I was at, and I was headed north to see if being on the move would make something happen. I should have stayed right there because I'm heading right back to Duncan. But This will give them a little bit of time to get it ready. Hopefully it's done by the time we get there. So let's go grab Duncan and get some coffee and donuts to some people. Did that do it? Yep. Thank you so much. Order up. All right, we just got that Dunkin' order dropped off and I received an order that was like $5.18 to go 5.7 miles and it was to shop five items at Dollar General. There's just not enough juice in that offer for me to take it, so I declined that one. And pretty much immediately afterwards, I received a high pay offer. It's $4 to go 0.6 miles and it's from Taco Bell, so We'll run over here to Taco Bell. It's only a block away and we'll see if they're open now. Order up. 
so this is the part about DoorDash that really, really, really upsets me. So this said it was a high pay offer, $4 for 0. 0.6 miles. No, I am going almost four miles, actually probably closer to five miles for this order because the address was not calculated correctly on the maps. So I'm going clear to the south end of town to a trailer park that we deliver to very, very often, and I'm gonna get four bucks. So, because I was just, just received the text message from the customer telling me it's Little Norway, lot number three. And the address is Little Norway, lot number three. But the maps was gonna take me over by the college, which would have been 0.6 miles from Taco Bell. So basically this is an upside down order that DoorDash lied about. It's upsetting, but let's go get it delivered and we'll see what we get after that. Order for Tina. Yeah, it wanted to take me over to freaking by the college. It's like, whatever. Thanks, sir. <laughs> All right, man, have a good one, enjoy. All right, we're back uh, in town, kind of centrally located. I just received another high pay offer, hopefully. <laughs> and it says it's $7 to go 3.2 miles or something like that. And it's from Tapatio's Mexican restaurant. We're like two miles away from Tapatio's, so hopefully this will be a good one. And we're only going like a mile, mile and a half. But boy, I tell you guys, I am just having an off day. I mean, staying kind of steady and everything, and I don't know if it's my attitude or if it's just the day or what's going on, but we're going to try to push through, struggle through, so <laughs> let's head on over to Tapatios and get this food. All right, I have a quick update for you. We just received a stack. It is for... $4.50 to go, it says an additional 1.2 miles or something like that. And it's also from Tapatio's. So I'm hoping both of them are ready to go by the time I get there. Like I said, we are a little ways away. So fingers crossed. <laughs> but uh, let's head on over and we'll get both these orders and get them, get them down the road. I have that one too, I think. No? Uh, yes. Thank okay. you. Yep, I have them both. Order up! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Order up! All right, we lucked out on this one. Uh, it's going to turn into a pretty decent order, $11.50 or something like that for very little miles. This first one is for Ingrid, and it is going to the nursing home that we always deliver to right over off of uh, Delton Avenue. So we'll go get that one over there and we'll head on over to the next one. Hello. Uh, order for Ingrid. Oh. Just, oh, I don't need money. Oh, so. <laughs> and then I think send it away. Perfect. Ingrid? Oh, yes. All right. Thank you. Enjoy. Have a good day. Okay, so I need to catch you up to date again. <laughs> when we pulled up to the nursing home here um, to bring Ingrid's Tapatios Mexican restaurant in, I received another stack, an additional stack, uh, for $6, 
to pick up a medium pizza from Pizza Hut. So we're gonna head back down uh, Delton Avenue here to the north, go grab that pizza. I still have the second Tapatios in the hot bag in the back seat, but uh, I've been seeing a lot more of that lately. You guys let me know in the comments, but have you been seeing like triple stacks and stuff like that? where you get an order, you get a stack, and then just before you get to your first drop, they stack on something else. Don't get me wrong, it's good because I'm staying busy now, and we just, we're gonna knock out three orders, just boom, boom, boom. And it's gonna take us probably 20, 25 minutes, we're gonna have three orders out of the way, so that's awesome. And it just bumped it up to like 17.50 for this entire run, and Hey, I'll take it. So. Hi. How are you? Pretty good. Good. How can I help you? Tyrone Clark. It's like a medium pan pizza or something? No drinks or nothing with it? Just this one. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, you too. Order up. Enjoy your food. Hi, pizza for Tyrone? That's me. All right, man. Thank you. There you go. Enjoy. Oh, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Have a good day. things are starting to roll now we uh, just got the Pizza Hut delivery dropped off to Tyrone got in the car and immediately got another high pay offer it's six dollars and fifty cents to go I believe it was 2.7 miles and this is from Arby's so okay thank you you're welcome <laughs> I know they're new usually over here but... yeah Take it easy. Yeah, you too. Yeah, Order right. up. All right, we got the Arby's, and while we were in there, we got an add-on stack, and it was either plus six plus or plus seven plus to go like an additional 1.1 miles, and it's from Taco John's. So I'm heading over to Taco John's now. We'll grab that order and add it right along with this one. Those are always fun, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> Especially considering I've ripped them more than once. <laughs> Oops. All right, man. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Yeah, you have a good day. You as well. Yeah. Order for Jessica. Order up. All right, we got the Taco John's in a hot bag. We got the Arby's in a hot bag. We got the drinks and drink carriers. We're heading over to Travis right now. He is the Taco John's. And his order was also the one that was the plus seven plus. So we'll go and see what this goes up to. I don't expect it to go up much. Maybe 750, maybe eight bucks at the most, but it's not that big of an order. It was all in one bag and a couple of drinks. So it's all good. Let's head on over there and see what we get.
All mm -hmm. right, you guys enjoy your Taco John's. Hi. Yeah. Doing some Arby's today. Awesome. And there you are. Thank you so much. Thank you. Much. You guys enjoy. Yep. All right, we got both of those uh, orders dropped off. <laughs> and here comes the next one. $14.43 to go 12.8 miles from McDonald's. I'm going to do it. I want the 14 bucks. And it's from the North McDonald's and it's going way, way north. All right, let's go get this. Um, I wanted to say very quickly that that plus seven plus turned into $8.50, so pretty nice tip. This place is pretty packed. I don't know. Might have been a mistake. Thank you. Yep, you too. Order up! All right, we have quite a drive in front of us. <laughs> it is 10.6 miles, but we're getting $14 and what, 80 some cents, 86 cents, something like that. So it's almost 15 bucks for 10 miles. That's not too bad. And I'm gonna be going 70 to 75 on Highway 2, and then once we get on 89, it'll be 60, 65 the whole way. So this isn't gonna take us that long. Right, we got that order dropped off we're heading back to town and you know DoorDash has these different screens and it just bugs the crap out of me because this one was the one where you have to call the customer then you have to snap a photo and then you have to leave a description and they already left me instructions. They text them to me on my way here. So then I go to try to get done with that or get out of that. It won't let me go because I didn't call them. So I went ahead and hit the call, but I went right back out of it. Then it let me complete the order. But then I get the spinning wheel of death 15 times in a row trying to get the stupid order clear. Tony, fix your stuff. All right, everyone, Dashing Dink here. <laughs> That's going to conclude it for today, Monday, March 4th. We didn't get as many deliveries as I would have liked to have done, but we did get a lot of content. We didn't do too bad money-wise. We were out here for about five and a half hours and we did $110 and some change. We did 16 total deliveries today between the morning shift and the lunch shift. I really appreciate you guys riding along with me, hanging out. We didn't really have any shopping orders today, just the uh, office depot, but food delivery was good. So, I appreciate all the people that have subscribed to the channel. I want to thank you guys for watching, liking, commenting, and sharing. And I hope you guys enjoy the week. I hope you guys have plenty of orders.
and make a lot of money. This is Dashing Dink saying, until the next dash.